и в Целофилм Кампани. Without You, Episode 14. God, how awful. Dmitro, I... I had no idea that Alicia's mother was so fragile that she could... Poor Alicia. How is she? Why am I asking? Stupid question. It was Olesia who pressed charges against you, causing her mother to commit suicide. Dimitro, I swear I didn't mean that to happen. <laughs> Here's what I don't understand. What did you tell her that made her kill herself? She must have seen your godfather's video. I didn't tell her anything new. I only said that her husband has killed my family and... I showed her our family picture. It seems you were acting after your godfather's plan. Hit Zubov where it hurts the most. As far as I know, he loves his wife a lot. I mean, he loved her. Thank you, Dmitro. That was helpful. I'm sorry it's not your fault. I just never thought that I might... ...cause someone's death. I didn't want this kind of revenge. Miss Evgenia, shall I bring you your drops? Did they take her away? Yes. Mommy! It's you! It's all your fault! It's you! You killed her! You killed her! You! I will never forgive you! Never! Mom. Mom. Mom, don't do that. He's suffering enough. What about me? Am I not? He killed her. My little girl. Hush. How can you say that? Hush, hush, I'm here. Well, to our beginning. To our first big victory. I wish I could see him squirming. Replacing her pills was a genius idea. It's just the beginning. You'll see. I'll break his spine very soon. I'll move him out of the way and take his place. As they say, the king is dead. Long live the king. Well, it's too early to celebrate that. It's a matter of days. In such cases, you need to go while the going is good. Strike before he had time to regroup. Where are you going to strike now? Zubov himself? No, why? There's a spot where it will hurt more. Daddy, don't. Don't cry like that. It won't bring mom back. You have high BP. Dad, don't. Baby, your grandmother is right. It's me. It's all my fault. No. If I die, everyone will be better off. Don't talk like this, don't. You are all I have left. Baby. 
I really don't know how to live without your mom. I have a toast. Go ahead. Yes. Shoot. It's such a pity that you can't go back in time. <laughs> but if you could, what would you do? Would you let me go? What? Nonsense. I would never even marry you. On principle. This is an unexpected twist. Who would you marry then? Someone who loves, appreciates and respects me. Someone who shares my traditional approach, family values and all that crap. Well, I have a toast. Go ahead. To our divorce. Wait, let's be serious. Now I have a toast. A traditional one. I want to drink. To everything good that we had. Because we did have it. Look at Dmitro. He grew up such a wonderful man. So, let's drink to us. To us. You know, Svetlana, it's a pity we didn't get to know each other like that before. Do you think so? I think so. Lie down. You need some rest. Tomorrow will be a long day. I don't think I'll be able to go to sleep tonight. Have you taken the pills? They didn't work. I'm trembling at the thought that mom is gone. Roman, what's wrong? Maybe I don't want to be alone tonight either. Thank you. I am right here. Dmitro, are you crazy? If your bosses find out I spend the night here instead of a cell, they'll put you in the cell. No one will find out if you go back to your cell in the morning. You'll be more comfortable here on the couch. I bought your favorite pizza. That was a good idea. I am so hungry. Then I'm nervous. I... You can eat a bowl. I know. That's why I bought more food. Mmm. Dmitro, thank you so much for your care and trust. I promise I won't let you down. I won't escape. You won't because I'm staying here for the night? I'll be your personal god. Shouldn't you be home, Mr. Bodyguard? Not while there is nobody there. Dmitro, let's make it clear. That night was... It was great, really. It was great, but it was wrong. I don't want to ruin your family because... You are my family. <laughs> well, you look interesting, Dad. A fun night? So fun. Who were you with, if I may ask? Son, you won't believe it. Your mother. Mom, I don't get it. I thought you were getting a divorce. Yes, we are. You know, it's a paradox. If you want to get along with your wife, 
File for a divorce. Okay, I'll think about it. No, 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 wait. For the record, I'm not encouraging you to get a divorce. It will happen anyway. Son, you're a big boy. You know what you're doing. I'm not lecturing you on a happy family life. Right. Dad, I'm not here just to chat. I need your help. What? Are you still in contact with Uncle Gennady? Yes, we went fishing not long ago. I need a lawyer. He's the best. He isn't a divorce lawyer. I'll take care of the divorce. It's not for me, it's for... Katya. What do you mean for Katya? She's dead. Not exactly. Or rather, exactly the opposite. She was arrested yesterday and I need someone to get her out of jail. I want you to move out of my house immediately after the funeral. I don't want to see you again, ever. Mom, please don't say such things. It won't bring Lisa back, you know. Grandma, if Dad goes, so will I. If that's what you want. But you don't have to. It wasn't you who made her commit suicide. Alexa is not going anywhere. It's my house, too. All right. Then I will move out. I can't see my daughter's murderer every day. Yes, I'll take care of this. Allah. Pop the Dad, how are you? Don't listen to grandmother. It's her grief talking and not her. What mom did wasn't your fault. Unfortunately, your grandmother is partly right. I should have known that all this situation could make Lisa... This scandal around me. You couldn't have known. I should have. Mom, why are you trying to finish him? Don't you see he's barely holding up? It's him. It's all his fault, and only his fault. You knew Lisa as well as I did. She could have swallowed all those pills in the spur of the moment. Maybe she didn't even know what she was doing. It could have been a nervous breakdown. Whose fault is that she had a nervous breakdown? Him. When you were little... 
You once fell very ill. Sustain. You were in a critical condition. We were worried that you might not survive. Lisa tried to end her life several times just because she couldn't witness your death. I didn't know that mom had been suicidal. But I knew. I knew it and... and did nothing. So your grandmother is right. Bob, Dad, just hang in there, okay? None of this is your fault, remember it. Sad as it may sound, we are all responsible for our own lives. Mom was no exception. I know it in my head, baby. But I can't accept it. Do you know that Lisa was here just before she took those goddamn pills? No, you didn't tell me. What did she want? To know the truth about her husband. That girl, Clara, showed her a picture of her family. Who do you think she saw there? Our Olesya, as a kid. Olesya, how come? Yes, Olesya. That detective, Zharinov, was after your father. I'm more than certain that the guy on TV was telling the truth. So, your father ordered Zubov to take care of the stubborn detective. Looks like the entire family took the blow. I remember that day very well. It was the day of Lisa's second suicide attempt. I told Zubov that he needed to find her a new child to replace their dead girl. Since Lisa couldn't have any more kids, they'd have to adopt. The same night, Zubov came home with the little girl in his arms. Lisa was happy. And I didn't ask questions. Maybe I should have. Maybe I shouldn't have. Mom, are you saying that he had her parents killed and took her with him? But it's... That little girl looked so much like our Olesya. And that's probably why Zubov couldn't kill her. With all due respect, Igor Valentinovich, I don't see any grounds to detain my client. You don't? She's accused of causing... Thank you. ...a suicide. And in the mix, her attempt to stage her own death to escape justice. It's not the most pleasant mix. Firstly, you have no proof that my client was at Alexei Zubov's house yesterday. 
I studied the report. It is based on the words of the victim's daughter, who didn't see my client in the house. Tell me, do you have any hard evidence that she was there? Like, say, security video? No. Then I don't understand what the charges are based on. As for the second charge, I officially inform you that my client wasn't hiding from justice and didn't know that she was wanted. Moreover, on the day that her car fell into the river, she was attacked and robbed. The attackers took her car and her papers. Since it happened out of town, it took her a while to get back home, where she was eventually arrested. Gennady, we've known each other for years. You do realize that your client is a criminal. The only thing I realize is that benefit of the doubt hasn't been cancelled yet. What I don't understand is why you took on this case. You're very picky regarding your clients. You're expensive too. Why this case? Let's say I have my reasons. Don't be so upset. Gennady is a real pro, the best lawyer you could find. Yes, my son is right. Gennady is the best. Katya, don't you remember him at all? We all used to come to your cabin often. Wait, is he the same Uncle Gennady who... Yes, one and the only. That's awesome. Well, Gennady... Well, I think everything will be fine. They don't have any hard evidence against Clara or, should I say, Katya? Katya, Katya. Katya is about right. Thank you so much. One more thing. Make sure all the paperwork was done correctly. Yes. I think they let her out on bail today. Thanks, Uncle Gennady. Come on, I'll see you out. Thank you. You were a great help. Thank you again. It's too early to thank me. And one more thing. I am happy that you are alive. Let's go. Bye. Well? What is it now? Everything is fine. Dmitro, I've been thinking about us. I'm bad luck, you see. I'm really grateful to you, your dad, and Uncle Gennady for your help, but you should stay away from me. Katya, let me be the judge of that, okay? Will you escort me to my cell, please, before they charge me with escape? This is the first time someone asks me to take them to the cell. Katya, I hope we'll get you out of there tonight. I hope so, too. Oh, I'll take this with me. Maybe they'll let me smuggle it. I'll bring you a thermos of coffee later, okay? Okay, and a good book, too. Has she been arrested? Yes. If everything goes well, she'll go down for a long time. She found herself a good lawyer, though. Let's not take chances. This bitch made my wife kill herself. She shouldn't stay alive for long. So contact your man, and my special request is that her death should be slow and painful. Whatever you say, boss. Get to it. Well, any news? Bad news. Zubov has just ordered to kill your goddaughter. I don't think she'll stay alive long in jail. She'll be dead by tonight. Okay, I see. I've got it. Keep me posted. Okay, sure. Bye.
Shit. What did I do to deserve a goddaughter like her? Miss Zubova, you have five minutes. Yeah. I can see you're doing well for yourself. You should have been here all alone. You belong here. Alessia, I know about your mom. I'm very sorry. What? You are sorry? First you make her commit suicide and now you are sorry? Listen, I just told her the truth. What truth? That my father is a killer? It's utter nonsense. Who are you working at? Who hired you? His competition. Why don't you say something? No one hired me. My godfather saw your father ordering to kill my family. Your godfather is a criminal, a serial killer. He can't be trusted. If you don't trust him, why are you here? To tell you that you're done. I'll make sure you rot in a jail and never get out. God damn you. I hate you. Great. Come here. What? Come here. I will accidentally leave my keys during the charge of shift. Use them if you want to leave. Yes, yeah, sure. You want me to escape so that you could put me on the bulletin. Keep your keys. Your godfather asked me to tell you that you won't leave till the morning. You're being targeted. I'm safe while I'm in this building. How long do you think you'll stay here? Where are you going? You're supposed to stay in bed. I don't have to anymore. Has the doctor released you? I can decide for myself when I can go. I am not a prisoner. By the way, my doctor told me an interesting thing today. It appears I am now enrolled in psychiatric care. Tell me, was it your idea? Are you trying to get rid of me this way? What's this nonsense? It's a standard procedure. It happens automatically to all suicide patients. I don't want to be enrolled anywhere. Please do something about it. I don't want people to think I'm crazy. No one will think that. As usual. And you call yourself my husband. You never support me. You have connections. Make some calls, call in some favors. It's not about my connections. You need help. I don't want you to finish what you had started one day. Don't tell me you'd be upset. Yes, I will. Here, take this. What is it? Psychotropic drugs? I'm not going to take them. I'm not crazy. Take it. They are not psychotropic. It's standard antidepressants for regular people. If they are for regular people, you take them. I'm not crazy. That's enough. You're a grown-up woman. Do whatever you want. You see me as an enemy. Deal with it on your own. Are you saying you're leaving me now? Of course. Who wants a jobless wife with a psychiatric medical record, huh? Do you hear yourself? Who is it? Grigori? What kind of danger? I hope it isn't my mother-in-law. Hello, Dmitro is at work. No, I'm here to see you. May I? Come in. What was it you wanted? I want to offer you a deal. A deal? For me? Interesting. 
What kind of a deal? Do you know that your husband is having an affair with Clara? Our family is none of your business. Yes, it is. This bitch Clara is ruining not just your life, but also mine. I am sure Dmitro will leave you for her very soon. So, I'm prepared to pay you well for setting up your husband. What? I want you to testify against your husband, to say that he knew from the beginning that Clara worked for the ghost and covered for her because of their affair. You are crazy. I'm not going to set up my husband. Even if he leaves you for her? Where's Clara? The convict? Yes. She has been transferred. Transferred? She was supposed to be released today. The paperwork is underway. I don't know about your paperwork. Mine says she has just been taken to detention center. Guys, are you sure you have the right woman? I'm not going to detention center. My lawyer is doing the paperwork. Listen, this entire case is a misunderstanding. No, really, you're making a mistake. Stop! Wait! Dmitro, tell them! Take her back to the cell. She's been released today. The paperwork is underway. It's some kind of mix-up. We have orders to get her to the detention center. Show me your ID and your orders. We just did. No, you came between the shifts. The guard thought you left the papers with her partner. But they aren't there. Show me your ID. No problem. <laughs> Are you okay? Quick, go! Run! Let's go! Stop! 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 That's okay. How could it happen? All you needed to do was abduct the girl and break her neck. Why is she still at the precinct? They almost got her to the car. If not for that detective. I don't care about this detective. I want that Clara to die today. Got it? Enough. Trubitskoy. Can't you live a normal life? All you bring me is trouble. What are you doing with that criminal? Is it personal? Why didn't you sign her release papers? The lawyer gave you all the arguments. I am not discussing my decisions with her. Did Zubov call you? Or the governor? You know what? You are crossing the line. No, you are crossing all lines. All right. Either you sign the release order right now, or I'll go and talk to the reporters. Even if I lose my job, at least people will know about your methods. What do you mean? You don't care about solving cases. All that interests you are nice round figures in your stats, so that you didn't get reprimanded. Not to mention that you are protecting a potential suspect in the murder of a cop's family. If all this is arranged correspondingly, the media will have a field day with it. If you think that you will get away with this blackmail, you are very much mistaken. Am I? You're free to go. Yes. Honestly, I didn't believe it would work. I'll drive you home. No, thanks. I'll call Aunt Lucia to meet me here. We'll be staying with her friends for a while. I hope you aren't going to escape. Of course not. I'll be back here at the first call. Actually, I meant us. I am getting a divorce. Dmitro, it doesn't change anything. As I said, I don't want to ruin your life. You probably thought with your boss because of me just now. Katya. Dmitro, don't. I made a decision. Please respect it. Okay. If you will respect mine. Don't overcomplicate it. 
I feel bad enough. I'm not overcomplicating. I'm just telling you the facts. I was her husband. I will decide where she will be buried. Husbands come and go, and I'm her mother. I give birth to her. I know better where my daughter wanted to be buried, next to her child's grave. How can we do it? How? Olesia will be there. She'll see her mother being buried next to some girl's grave and start asking questions. Do you want me to lose my daughter because of your whim? I don't care. All I care about is my daughter's wish. Fighting again. What's this time? Small things, as usual. Never mind us. Where were you? Visiting that bitch. That she isn't even regretted. Anyway, I won't let it go. My girl, don't waste your nerves on her. I told you I would take care of her. She'll get her due. You think she hasn't got it yet? Gran, what do you mean? Ask him. I dare you to tell her the truth. Dad, what does she mean? You know, your grandma never liked me. And now less than ever. It's okay. I don't blame her. She's grieving. She needs to take it out on someone. Let it be me. My poor daddy. Just hang in there, okay? Know that I'm always there for you. I love you. I love you too. Baby, if not for you, nothing would be tying me to this world. Bye. Bye. Clara. Oh my God, thank God. I thought I'd have to visit you in jail too. A miracle happened and they let me go. Thanks for coming for me. I don't even have cab money. I offered her a ride, but she said no. Good for her. Let's go. Katya, wait. I'll wait in the car. Don't be long. The matter is ticking. Yes, yeah, sure. I hope you aren't going to disappear. Of course not. Dmitro, I really want my real name back. Besides, I don't like the idea of being arrested. So I'll see you again. If it's about work. You know I won't let you go. People always destroy what they love most of all. Oscar Wilde. Bye, Dmitro. Bye, Dmitro. Thanks. He's a nice guy. It's a shame he's married. Aunt Lucy, I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about Dmitro right now. Right you are. Why talk about him? I don't need a cop for a son-in-law. Godfather? Hi, kitty cat. What are you doing here? Where are you taking us? Definitely not home. To a safe place, where no one will find you. We'll make you new papers and send you out of town before someone kills you. I don't want to run away, and I don't need your papers. Stop the car. Yeah, sure. You should thank me for helping you. Lucia has packed your stuff. It's in the trunk. I said stop the car. What are you going to do if I don't? Jump out on the go like a kamikaze? Aunt Lucia, you tell him. As if he ever listened to me. Clara, Grigori is right this time. You can't stay in this city. If they found you at the investigations, they'll find you at home too. Are you kidding me? How dare you defend her? This bitch killed my mother! I'm not protecting anyone. All I'm saying is that it wasn't Clara's fault that Lisa decided to kill herself. Don't make her a scapegoat. If not her, then who?
Are you going to say it's my father? Come on, pin it all on him. Don't be shy. Has Grandma put you up to this? No. No one put me up to this. It's just a bitter truth, which you will have to accept anyway, whether you want it or not. So what is this truth of yours? The truth is that your father killed her family. He ordered to kill Danilo, and now Clara. I heard him giving the order to Sergei to get rid of her. Olesya, I can't let it happen, or I will become his accomplice. I hope you'll accept my decision to turn to the police. No, you are crazy. You are a liar. Isn't it enough that my mother is dead? Do you want to take my father from me too? I know how much it hurts, but someone has to stop him, and it will be me. You're just take the grand sight. If you set up my father, I will never forgive you. Do you hear? Never. Olesya. It's all a lie. My father would never do that. He never killed anyone. I won't let you hurt him. Are you sure? Thank you for the info. I will escape from you sooner or later. And you will be a fool. Who is that? None of your business. Dmitro. Yes. What? Are you sure? Yes, thank you for telling me. What is it? Bad news? Did you poison her? Whom did he poison, Clara? I don't understand. Alessia's mom, Zubov's wife. Grigory. It wasn't suicide. She took two sleeping pills. Simply to get some sleep. But it sleeping pills, but see it. Have you replaced them? I have no idea what you're talking about. If you don't stop the car right now, I'll jump. Clara! Are you crazy? You fool! You'll get killed! Better that than being in the car with you. Where the hell are you going? You! Two idiots! Get in the car, quick! You killed my friend's mother. I don't want to even see you again. Don't you get it? She was married to your parents' killer. She didn't kill anyone. She was a good, kind woman who probably had no idea what her husband and father were doing. No one should answer for other people's sins. It was the only way to get to Zubov. His only weak spots were his wife and his daughter. Now listen to me. If you even come close to Alessia, consider you don't have a goddaughter anymore. You'll have no one. Enough chit-chat. Let's go. I said I wouldn't go anywhere with you. Enough. Our roads have parted. You know what? Get out of all this yourself, if you're so smart and law-abiding. Lusa, let's go. I'm not coming with you. What? Not you two. Are you crazy, old fool? Don't you hear? I ask you to come with me. With me. Isn't that what you've been waiting for all your life? I might change my mind. Goodbye, Grigory. Go to hell, both of you. It's true that all women are dumb. What shall we do now? Trust me. Hello, Dmitro. We are next to St. Andrew's Park. Come get us, please. Mm -hmm.
I never thought I would have to choose a coffin for Lisa. Can I do something to help? You can. Tell me that Clara is dead. So far... Exactly, so far. I need concrete action, not this so far nonsense. Dad, I need to talk to you. Alone. I'll be downstairs. What happened? I don't know how to tell you. Sit down, don't stand there. Roma is certain you were involved in the Zharinov's murder and that you ordered to kill Danilo and Clara. He said he'd go to the police. So what if he's certain? There is no proof of those absurd accusations. I'm sorry for bothering you with it. All this is hard for me too, you know. I love Roman and Grandma, and I don't want to be on the opposite sides with them. Baby, what matters is that we are on one side. Yes, Dad. We are, aren't we? Then we'll survive. Sergey. Get your guys. Roman is going to the police to make a statement against me. You realize that he can't get there, don't you? Got it. Well, thank you for the right. You're welcome. Okay, I'll go inside and leave you two to it. Give me your bag, don't be alone. Okay? It's been a strange day. How many times have we said our goodbyes? Right. Clara, don't be surprised if you see a police car in front of your building. Are you afraid I'll run away? No, it's to protect you in case of an attack. Oh. No, that's fine. I've never had a personal security squad. Thank you for that. Right. I would gladly stay, but... But you are married, right? Bye. And now, goodbye. Listen, my dear. I know you love your father, but as a person, he is a piece of shit. What are you saying, Gran? He always treated you well. He tried to be friends with you. It was you who refused to get along with him. You believe him inferior to you. Do you realize what will happen if Roman reports him? It will kill Dad. Mom is dead, and now his family betrays him. Is Roman going to report him? That's what I'm trying to tell you. He went to the police. We must stop him. I tried to, but he took it into his head that my father is a killer and he doesn't want to enable him. Does your father know? Yes, of course. I had to warn him. Okay, where is... He took it rather calmly. My phone. He is sure there is no evidence and he is in no danger. Of course he is in no danger. Because your father will make sure Roman never gets to the police. Gran, what are you saying? Take off your rosy glasses. Your grandpa was a criminal don and your father, his hankman. If anything happens to my son, I'll bury him alive. Gran!
Лада? Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? Waiting for you. Did you want to talk about Nadia? Yes, about Nadia and her betrayal. Did you know your wife hadn't lost the baby? By the way, it wasn't even yours. Do you realize what you're saying? Unfortunately, I do. I realize it very clearly. But Roman, pick up your phone. This is ridiculous. Dad wouldn't do it. You could have answered my cop and spare me from breaking in. Your security is shit, by the way. Anyone can come in. You're supposed to be in jail. In jail or in a grave? Your daddy's hitman failed. I'm still alive. You all have conspired against my dad. I don't know about the conspiracy. What matters now is that you need to pack your bags and book a seat on the first flight abroad. The sooner the better before my godfather gets to you. Is it a threat? No, it's an attempt to save your life. Your dad is too arrogant if he thinks this house is safe. My godfather will easily get inside, but he won't go abroad. There you will be safe, so hurry, book a flight and go. You think I'll believe your tales? Guards! Guards, help! Dad! Daddy!